Morning everybody, Jason Hollis Farms. <clears throat> it is after lunch now. <clears throat> Rained about all night and been raining just about all day. Nothing real hard, just kind of a kind of a soaking rain. And uh, I just been up in the house. I got up, I ate breakfast. Been watching a ton of YouTube today. I've been on uh most of the stuff I watch is hunting. Usually got something on my mind. Have my mind on a recurve uh, my recurve traditional archery one day yesterday and I watched a bunch of deer hunting and turkey hunting on tra traditional archery where it be a recurve or a longbow and <clears throat> been watching several of the hunting public videos today the hunting public or whatever them guys kill some deer they do some hunting now and uh so i've been trying to get out of the house or wanting to get out of the house and still cool too it's in the low 50s and damp been inside all day it feels kind of cool but anyway i'm just gonna ride up here to the barn and probably stand and sit outside a little while just to get out of the house my back i really think yesterday it made a kind of turn the corner as i said and feeling better uh, the the worst thing i felt was when i just got in this truck uh and feel that feel that a little bit when you kind of have to pick your leg up and get your body up but other than that that's a good test too when you try something like that you figure out kind of real quick what you don't need to be doing i started to drive somewhere this morning but i didn't so uh i'm trying to be patient but i'm about to go crazy focus camera i'm about to go crazy with weather like this and deer season golly they better look out when we do get a chance to go I'm ready for something to go down, but anyway, I'm gonna stand around up here, walk around, and just kind of make the day again. About to go crazy, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna make it through it. See what else we can get into here in a few minutes. Boy, this one of them days where the wind is not blowing too hard for them to move, but just steady and it won't swirl. You could get there, it's kind of blowing out of the north, a little northwest right now. If you had a spot picked out, you could sit there. It'd be right. I ain't far from it. It ain't far from getting this crossbow out. I can tell you all that. All right, so I've just been piddling around up here at the barn. I got something up here I've had for quite some time. Now I'm going to show y'all in a little bit, but I need to do some walking. And since I uh, ooh, I drove my truck up here, I need to get something down here at the house. I'm gonna walk back down here. Maybe this rain's gone. My uh, my legs seem to be doing better. Just gonna take some time. I know that. I'm trying to remember. I tell y'all what I didn't do that I do got to do. I didn't take my medicine when I ate lunch a while ago. I don't think so. Better get back down here and do that. And then uh, I'll show y'all what I got. Oh, I like this weather. I wish I was hanging from a tree. Whew. All right, so just as I come out of the house, headed back up to here to the barn, starts raining. Just my luck. All right, so let's get to today's Bible verse. Still on the uh, focus camera. Still on the word fear. Most of y'all are going <clears> to <throat> know this verse. You've heard it most all your life. Some of you hadn't, and sometimes I forget it too. I sure don't have hardly any memorized. But here we go. Word fear. Psalm chapter 23, verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me heard that a lot over these years all right so i had no setup outside and it got to raining again so i'll come back inside the barn i think it's gonna be good enough oh 
this stuff I've got right here I have had for quite some time. When I, when I was over at Owens Outfitters one day, oh, Slade and them sell Sitka, oh, I forget all these names, mostly, mostly the higher end stuff over there. And uh, I like good clothes. I'm just gonna tell you the reason, I got a pair of Kuyu pants on right now. The reason I went to Kuyu, Ryan had done it when he first started traveling years ago hunting and then I got to fooling with them. I got tired of buying new hunting clothes every year because most of this stuff out, I'm not stuck on any brand. This right here I just got happens to be uh, Mossy Oak Bottomland, which I do like it. And I think these will be some pretty good clothes, but, uh, and don't get me wrong, I do love the, uh, the Kuyu camouflage also. I mean, I think it blends as good or better than most anything around here that you can find. But uh, this right here seemed to be some pretty good stuff and I wanted some bottomland stuff anyway. I like it, hadn't bought any in years. Oh, uh, Slade had this in, it was at a really good price. I'm trying to see. This vest was 45 bucks. I wanna make sure I say the brand right. If they call it EHG. I'm thinking right, engineered hunting gear, elite. Yeah, it's EHG Elite. And boy, this stuff just, I like quiet clothes, I like good clothes. And uh, I got this vest just a hair big, so it'll be, I can have it over a, a hoodie or whatever. I ain't even had it out, I still got the tags on it, but this thing feels, I mean, you can't even hardly make it make a noise and I like this little collar little kind of a fuzzy fuzzy fleecy collar but I like that like I said it don't really if somebody would uh, offer some sponsorship or something I might do something but until that happens I'm gonna wear what I like I'm gonna pay for it, I'm gonna wear what I like. All right, this is the jacket that goes with it. This jacket wasn't but $55. I mean, that is a lot of money, but not compared to a lot of stuff. And I, if the zippers and all will hold up, which these, like, they got the big type zippers, I like that. Oh, it'll be good. And this'll be some good stuff for, for early turkey season. I'm trying to get this sticker off. About let it sit around too long. Come on off there, sticker. Yeah, a lot of people get kind of hung up on one camo. It don't matter to me. A lot of times I don't even wear camouflage. Oh, I had somebody comment one day asking me about these flannels that I wear, where do I get them? I'll find them anywhere. You're allowed to find them at Tractor Supply or a couple of the farm supplies that we got. And I like a good flannel too. And I think they camouflage good too. I like this jacket. It's got a pretty good fleece, I guess what you'd call inside. Probably had a pocket in there, but that thing ain't got a bottom to it. That should have been sewn right there. Uh, it's got pretty good elastic on the end of the arms there. Pockets there. Them pocket zip. Yeah, your coat pocket zip. It's some pretty good looking stuff. Feels good. Got this jacket just a little big. The one thing I do like about it, the, even though the jacket's big, the arms still tight. I don't like big arms. That's gonna be all right there. It's a different feeling material on the side here. I guess more fleecy like there. And I guess it is on the front too. I hadn't, I think this stuff is, must be pretty new I guess. First time I ever seen it. I just like the Kuyu stuff. I got these pants I've got on. You can just wear it every day. 
and the warranty is good on them too. I've had to use the warranty once or twice and you send it back and, and get a new one. They got a, had a hole in the vest and they had a hole in this to put your safety harness through. Never seen one that had a zip on it. That's pretty cool there. And I ain't gonna put these on right now, but I got a pair of pants to go with them and I really like the pants. These things you could, I think I got them big enough where they'd slip over or something like what I got on now. So if you pack in, oh, and it's gotta, if you pack in, they would pack pretty good. Got two back pockets with snaps on it. Front pockets, front pockets there. I don't know if it's got any, ain't got any pockets down the side. That's the only part I don't like, but they uh, they do zipper zipper to the knee and then and then uh snap so i would probably use these kind of more as some some over pants and the one thing i did notice it's got a i don't know if that's adjustable but they it's got a little elastic there where you know if you grow a little bit in the winter your belly gets a little bigger or if you uh Put long johns on up on them, that'll help a lot. Of course, got belt loops on them. See how much these pants were. I usually don't talk about price much, but I thought these were real fair. Pants, $55. I mean, that's some that's some pretty well-made stuff from what I can tell so far, and the price is, is uh, right there pretty reasonable. I can kind of see, I think this stuff would fold up. It's not going to fold up quite as good as like my down from my Kuyu down, but it get in there pretty tight. I could see myself walking in with my pack, kind of like on what I got on and having this and the jacket or maybe this in the vest, slip it on at the base of the tree and go hunting. I like it though. I think it's gonna be some some pretty quality stuff. I'm gonna show y'all this, uh, this uh, <clears throat> flannel. A lot of people's always asking me about them. Oh, this is just a uh, Carhartt flannel. They're a little heavy. That's the only downside. They're just a little heavy, but I could see packing this thing in. One thing I do like about these is they got a hand warmer pocket. Oh, I could see packing this in on a day and putting it over too. And I think this fleece, I mean, it blends pretty good. You get up there in a tree, of course, right now the leaves hadn't fallen. You need a, a green one, but I don't know. I just kind of like, uh, I like my solids and my pants. Like I got these solid Kuyu pants on now. I like them. I like my, uh, I like my flannel there, but that bottom land looks good now. <laughs> don't get me wrong, but I like mixing it up. Even since I was little, I'd, a lot of times I'd wear bottom land on the bottom and green leaf or full foliage or whatever they used to have turkey hunting. I very seldom ever matched because I think it breaks you up even more. You can you could put this flannel on and or even this and like I got on now and then put that vest on over it and just kind of mix and match and you get up there in a tree like that and you're talking about you covered. I'm talking about covered, blending right in. That's my little thoughts on camouflage. I don't know if I've ever said anything about that, but I just kind of grab whatever works. And I like my solid pants. Uh, I don't know. It's one thing about, I thought about that too. The leafy wear stuff we got that we wear turkey hunting. Talking about folding up and packable. If you wanted to wear some, if you didn't have to go far, you could wear something like whatever you wanted to wear and put that leafy on top of it. I just, I don't too much worry about the camo that much. I mean, I do use it, but it, it don't bother me one bit to wear some some uh, flannel and stuff. Yeah. All right, so here's what we got going on now. Cody's at a buddy's house. Battery on the four-wheeler went dead last night. Cody walked home, so me and Sissy and Reese is fixing to get a battery charger on there. I can't bend over enough to uh, do it, so Sissy's gonna help me. Oh. Um, I could jump it off, but it's so aggravating to get them big 
ends in there on the jumper cable so we're just gonna charge it and I charged it the other day and it lasted two or three days so it looks like we're gonna have to have a battery in this one I think we just put one in the in the other one all right let's see if uh, we can handle this all right we got the battery charger hooked up and I forgot the key to the four-wheeler it's over in my truck which it this is just a little trickle charger about an hour or so it'll probably crank well Tracy will be home by then she can drive it over to the barn I ain't supposed to be on one but anyway we have started the process I mean I need to close this door a little bit we finna have to go feed PJ and then we gotta feed the big dogs Cody got out of work today he's at a buddy's house all right gotta run over here and check the uh mules water real quick pretty good walking i just can't bend over and i tell you the hardest part i just got in the back seat of sissy's ride boy that hurts getting in golly so i ain't gonna do much of that i'm just gonna walk and i'm gonna have to keep laying around and get better let's see if they got enough to get by oh yeah they just nearly full PJ, what you do? Get up there, PJ. Come on, come on. Get up here. Hey, come on, come on. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. You got little cuckaburras all in you. All right, y'all had a uh. Pretty good day today. Well, I'm so where I walked quite a bit today. Oh, uh, stayed in the house for a while. And then when we come out, we, what did we do? We looked at the new mossy oak bottom land camo and then just took care of PJ and Cece and Reese helped me get the charger on the four wheeler. Maybe after a while, after we get done eating, we'll, I'll swing by there if we get it crunk, get it back over to the barn. And I hear the dogs raising cane down here. Sissy's already feeding them. I'm gonna go down there and try to finish helping her with that. And we're gonna get a bite to eat and I'm gonna lay down somewhere. Not a bad day though. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.